All right, guys, well, thank you so much for being here. This is extremely exciting for me. And we're gonna go through a series of modules, one by one, talk about the process and the details and everything I can possibly think of. Unlike a lot of courses that focus on the how, we're gonna focus heavily on the why. Here are some of the modules. That's a question I think everybody should try to answer is, is what are you trying to get at this? What's gonna sustain you 40 years? Like, you know, you really think about it. If you start playing guitar when you're 13, like I did, and you're, you're 20 years into it, okay, 20 years, it's like that's enough to the point where you're like starting to get good at this. I'm getting good at it. I'm not quite where I want to be yet, of course. And 30 years goes by, you're like, oh, okay, 40s now. You know, 40, in your 50s, like, what's going to sustain you to do that for that long? You have to find a, a, you have to find something or some things, things to constantly keep you inspired. I, I, I just for instrument music, I love the drama. I love, you know, I don't, I don't know how many of you have heard this, but there's a theme from the new Star Trek movies. You know, it's a very random deep cut, but the theme goes like this. Let me see if I can play it. I may, I may forget a few notes, but I'll get it. I think it goes like this. <laughs> the theme. Watch the movie, the one with Chris Pine in it, you'll hear it. The harmony for that. That big, that dramatic tritone at the end, you know, look at that, it's like, in the key of E, and that D comes in, reharmonizes it, then there's the tritone at the very end, that, that A flat. That to me is just like, oh, the math and the architecture and how that all fits together. So beautiful. I remember hearing that the very first time and I went home, I saw the movie in theaters, went home, had, what the hell is that? I have to learn, I have to learn the moves of that. That's what I always say. <laughs> I look at it as like the moves. It's like, what, what is happening? Like, what's, what's the beat of that? Like, why does that sound that way? I find I do that a lot if I, if I get overly excited about a melody or an idea or something. I, if I'm out for dinner with people, and if something comes on, I, I often will leave the dinner table. I gotta go to the washroom. I'll go into the lobby. It's like, what the hell is that? What is that chord change? Like, it's like, what is it? And I'll just, or pull over on the side of the road. You ever done that one? That's a fun one. You're driving, you listen to something, you pull over and you're just like, oh, that was cool. And you just, you just have to, you have to know more. One of my favorite things to do with, with a second or a nine is, you know, a power chord, right? <laughs> If you put the nine on top of that power chord. So again, this is the same as. In fact, let's go back to Stairway to Heaven for a second. If I play that same progression with nines in it or seconds in it, it sounds like this now. Now it sounds more like a Rush song or Dream Theater. It sounds massive at that point. Just by adding that nine in there, which is again, the second just on top of it. So as we move forward, the song starts to open up a bit more, and you'll notice the final master will sound quite a bit different than this, but that's what's kind of cool about this is you're getting a bit more of an uh, inside look at this. So I always have ready to go, like I said, my electric guitar, my acoustic guitar, and a mic. Uh, and I don't have any, I don't use headphones in here, so I don't have separation. I just literally will put an SM57 right next to the speaker, close to an acoustic guitar, just so I can play right here, and I'll just record it. So you can hear, I'll just solo it. You can hear the lead, this is what it sounds like.
right, so in relation to the rest of the song, it sounds like this. So it does the trick, it's there. I don't need perfection, I don't need, you know, a, a, a live room and, a, and, a, and an isolation booth. Just let me get, let me get the idea down. Let's kind of go to some of the real dry, original things we, we committed to. So can we listen to the solo without any mix on it? Like I'm talking... The original as solo? As original as it gets. Yeah. So that. you're hearing uh, the most kind of primal version of this solo. And it's just interesting to see, like, <laughs> what did you commit to? Like, what was the final, what was good enough at the time, right? So let's right. check it out. Sounds great. It sounds great. Yeah, it's got energy it and everything. Now, that 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 sounds like you could almost get away with that being like this is a live live performance. This is a band yeah. playing. Yeah. You know, one thing I would I, I would do if I was to go back and remix this one day is I would actually pull the rhythm guitars out of the solo and just give it all all yeah. the room. I would just yeah. completely remove. Uh, piano would stay, but just like do you want to hear that? Let's check that out. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay. Well, I would have, I would actually, that's when you would be like, oh, we have B3 on this now. Exactly. Like that fills Different that. Different frequency range yeah, that and fills, all that kind of stuff, yeah. But that's, that's a, that's a different kind of player at that point. Like, I'm, I wasn't that guy back then. So it's right. cool to, it's cool to kind of sit here and do it now. We're also going to talk about something I always had so much difficulty with, business. How to take your passion, turn it into a career. How to build a team, how to release records, how to go from vision to crystallizing something. Thank you so much, guys. Please enjoy.